I had been struggling getting lights and particles to scale properly in the plane tracker, so I made this little debug scene. And I found that the plane tracker scales between about 0.25 and 4. And I found that by taking the scale that's output from this plane tracker and then comparing it in these greater than patches just to make these different text objects visible. And if you're really close to the surface, like you're on the surface of a table and your phone's really close, it's going to be around 0.25. And if I stood on the top of a couch and pointed at the floor, it came up to around 4. And I'm sure if you're standing on a building, it'd be greater than that. But from what I found, 0.25 to 4 or 5 is about where the scale is going to be. So to get that to work with lights and particles, there's two things we need to do. In this plane tracker, we need to grab the scale and just pull the x value out of it with a swizzle. And the swizzle, by putting x here, it's only grabbing the first value of this, which is just the x. And so it's outputting a single number. And over here, we multiply that number by what we want the final value to be. So I want this emitter bubble to be 0.125. So I'm multiplying that here. And that'll work as long as you don't have any pinching to scale involved. But if you want pinch to scale like the plane tracker template includes, I'm just grabbing this value here. And this is just a single value, it's not a vector three. So I'm taking that screen pinch value, throwing it into a sender just to get it over here. And then I'm receiving it here, and then multiplying that again to get the final value. So all we're really doing is multiplying three values. We have the scale of the plane tracker, the scale of the screen pinch, and then the value you want the final output to be. And with that, you can scale this freely and add the plane tracker to a close surface or a faraway surface, and the particles and the lights should still all fit properly and not get blown out or too large or too small. So that's just a really handy trick to figure out how to work with the plane tracker and still use particles and lights.